I'm using a voice changer to make my identity unknown. I may survive the living on just few supplies I have gathered. I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. If you are out there, if anyone is out there, I can provide food. I can provide security. If there's anybody out there, anybody, please, you are not alone. got a radio transmission from an unknown guy. Supposedly, another person actually told me, and supposedly he is inside of somewhere north. I forgot the town name, but I will display it on the screen, and uh, I don't really remember the town name, but y'all can figure it out by the screen, because it will be circled. But right now we're just getting loot and stuff. The EMP storm just passed, literally like five seconds ago, but... We appear to be alright from it. Nothing really happened, no damage, no blood loss, no anything. But we're just scouting this town right now. Look at that helipad. Pretty nice. I didn't know this is actually Daisy Epoch Nimalsk. Uh, decided to play something else since I've been playing standalone and other things too much. And standalone, of course, I could not play this time though. It's too buggy and less stuff to find be boring to watch really but don't don't actually think that I did not try to add it I did try to record standalone but it's just no I can't do it all right so we have a map now and we're actually just gonna check and see uh, a place where we can go now this is Vercuta this is where the suspect was last seen of course, and that's 3,000 meters that way. Sorry about that. So let's go to Alicate, and that's 3,100 that way. So we're like probably somewhere around here. We're actually at Old Hospital. That's where we're at. So we're right here. Am I right? Yep, that's where we just were. So we're going to go ahead and head down to Seb John and see if we can find something. No, wait, never mind. Why would I head there when I can go to this army base right here? That'd be a lot better. <laughs> so, see you when I get there. Just while crossing the sea, I actually see a helicopter crash site over there. I'm not sure if they actually spawn gear or anything, but I don't really want to run all the way back there just to see. So, uh, I'm just going to take our gut on this one and supposedly think that they don't spawn them. But I see stuff back there. This must be a dog. And two zombies are following me still. The medical zombie's actually been on me on my trail for a while. I don't know why. He uh hasn't really gotten off me. I've tried to dodge him by like running through trees, but now I guess he's finally just quit. But this one, another aggroed on me, so yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with him and stay tuned because we're gonna get to the army base. But yeah. Oh no. Ooh. Well, the storm's rolling through right now. Hopefully we will be alright. I mean, we are inside like the middle of the day. Uh oh. So those storms hit every like 10 to 20 minutes I'm pretty sure and every time that they hit if you don't have the goggles on you will in fact pass out like this for about I think 10 to 20 seconds but then you just get back up and you just move on. So I'm just waiting. And there we go. <laughs> Heading to glory, we are now at Natitja Nati Army Base, and hopefully we will find an M4 or anything other than a Lee Field here, because this actually sucks. If you didn't know, the Lee Field, if you uh, 
shoot at somebody, you gotta wait like literally probably two to three seconds just before you shoot another shot. That's why the first shot with the lean field always counts, and you want to at least get a headshot or above torso shot, sort of. But yes, all right. So this barracks here. So thank God we might actually find something good. Actually sounds like there's probably going to be another storm. I mean, I don't really know exactly whenever they come, but uh, whenever I hear it, then it might come. So, Alright, so I'm actually going to self blood bag, because if another storm does hit, then I am going to die. So I'm just going to self blood bag really quickly, just in case. And I'm just going to look in there while I self blood bag. Seems to be a uh, clothing of some sort, and some mags on the ground. If I do find an M4 though, then I am set on mags, because there is actually, if you can see right there, there's ammo in that, and there's like a shitload of Stenag, and Stenag SD. Wow, this takes forever. There we go. Alright, that seems perfect. Alright. It's M1911 right there, and always check under, because they actually made it to where the loot spawns underneath. And you want to be sure and make sure that you didn't miss an M4 or anything. Morphine, I could actually use that. DMR and M24 and SVD Dragon Elf. So if you can see on the right, our, our temperature is actually going down. And what that is, is you can actually die of hypothermia inside this game. And if you don't know what hypothermia is, it's whenever you die of being too cold so yeah you can't also you can't wear a backpack while you're changing clothes which is really stupid but just gotta live with it alright so let's just go ahead and take this backpack off and change clothes Ooh, that doesn't look that bad I wish I gotta wait for that backpack to come back up so that we can grab that because it's got some stuff in it but so far I don't see anything in here really what's this in my mag wow a map spawned in there that's like that's the first wow fucking you mind fucked me daisy right. it's really starting to sound like there's gonna be a storm now though Yep, there's gonna be a storm, I can just tell. Ooh, no, 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 no. Let me get up there before it comes. Ooh. Hello. Come on, come on. Oh, this is probably the worst place for the storm. I know that in Daisy Standalone, somebody told me that you can actually use an EpiPen on yourself if you're downed. And whoa, some more stuff. M249 scope. Hmm. I'm just gonna put that in there. So we got another thing for it. Oh uh, no, sorry. I'm sorry guys, I cannot take a scope on my M249. That was not all of it, I'm guessing. Nope, here goes this. There's another tower. And it's got stuff on the bottom of it. What is that? Is that a scope? MK48 mod. It's got a 100 round belt. M240. I'm gonna put that in my backpack too. I'm not sure if that works with my gun, but might as well take it. Now, because of these storms, you gotta be really careful. And I sort of hate them because I don't really wanna be careful. But, uh, it's the way that it, it flows. So. Wind's actually picking up, you can hear it right now. 
But I never know whenever the storm's gonna hit, though. That's the worst part. Just gotta be ready. Hopefully, hopefully he wasn't killed by the storm. I don't know if it like it comes to an area and then it comes to another area or something like that, or if it just hits everybody at once. But all I know is the storm hits and it's bad. And I also don't know if you're in lower ground if it's better or if you're in higher ground and it's better. I'm just gonna have to guess this stuff, I guess. Because <laughs> sometimes I actually forget to look at it and I'll die by it. It's a massive frame rate right there. So we're heading off now. Ooh, what the hell is this? That's weird. Let me just hide in this bush right now. Because I know that there's another military base somewhere. Western Army Checkpoint. All right. This game makes really awkward sounds. If you ever listen to it. If you listen to the background, it's like making some weird ass noises. So, uh... That's why I'm really just on full alert, because I'm not sure if the storm's going to hit or not. Because if it's making those noises, the storm has to be coming from somewhere. But I just don't know where. So, I stay on full alert. And if we get hit by a storm two times in a row, without blood bagging, then we're a goner. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh no. Our temperature's blinking. Alright, so there's a town right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop by here and see if there's any heat packs or anything. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh no. I need to find some shelter. I think that if you actually get into somewhere, then you're not as cold. So that way you uh, won't really die or anything. But as long as you uh, stay outside in the cold like this, you will start to freeze. And apparently my hypothermia is kicking in right now. So I need to get someplace really quickly. And this place is actually the closest. Hopefully we'll be able to get that truck. Also one... Oh no, oh no. It's really getting low. It's really, really, really getting low. Fuck, 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 dude. Come on. When I panic, I say fuck, by the way. So... Overburdened. No, this can't happen right now. Come on, character. Fucking. I only got 124 pounds on me. Are you serious right now? Holy crap, dude. We might die. It's times like this when I wish I had kept that heat pack and not have used it. I should have known. There was actually a heat pack on top of that building that was on. Back at the military base. I should have taken that. But I forgot how hypothermia is like really bad in this game right now. So I just gotta. Heavy Xmas, what the hell? Right. Come on, come on. Is there anywhere that I can go in? Oh, this is a traitor. This is a traitor right here. I'll let you go up there and there's a traitor, but I don't have time for traitors. Overburden? Oh god, I'm gonna respawn. Alright. I think the trader actually has a uh, fire, so if, I think that if I get near a fire, I'll be alright. So I saw on another server that there was a fire up here. And somebody. Oh wait, the trader's not even right here. Wow. <sighs> it, was a good, it was a good ride, guys. It was a good ride. There's no way we're gonna survive this, though. <gasps> oh no. Those towers have heat packs in them. I know they do. Well, other than that, we got a cool ass gun, I guess. Ah, crap, dude. You have a heat pack in ya. Nope. Well, that guy's mad. I've seen I'm bad die, like, I think three times so far on the server. So. Oh, we're burdened by nothing. Yay. I'm just going to eat something because I think that if I do, you know, fix it. I'm, I'm not sure how you fix overburdened. I mean, the only thing that I can think of is stop 
carrying so much shit, but I guess we'll just walk a little bit. Uh, nope, I didn't do shit. <laughs> Alright, so we come across another town, and there seems to be another tower here too. So we can check that tower, and we can check the town. Please, fucking, like, anything, any heat pack, any source of heat I need. Now, we're just going to check the tower, tower first, but, uh, hopefully it will have something in it. Oh, if it doesn't have a heat pack in it, then we are the most unlucky son of a bitch today. Because that's going to be pretty crazy. Heat pack. Oh, I love you. It didn't bring it up that much, but oh well. So let's take some. We actually found an M4. Wow. Put that there. Put this in here. Put the belt in there too. Two, three. We have enough room. All right. So now we need to take out ten of these. So we gotta have five left in here. I don't know why I did it like that, but okay. It's ten of them, so there we go. And we gotta take out another ten of these stanag from here. Because we need oh wait, never mind. So we gotta go down the ladder, which the ladder should be somewhere. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright, so the ladder should be right here. There it is. Alright, so we gotta go down this. And once we're fully down this, we're going to grab that sniper rifle. Hopefully it has a mag for it. I'm not sure if it will. SVD? Hmm, hello. So you got to put that in there. SVD camo. And take the mag. So we have a SVD now. 30 round stenag. Neaty. What if you pass out or you get overburdened while you're on a ladder? I wonder what happens. I don't think you can. Ooh, this is glitchy. Alright. Ooh. I know, I, of course, like I said before, you guys are probably going to be like, eh, that was just nothing. But glitches, remember, Daisy's most horrible with them. So, you really got to watch out for them in Daisy. Glitches equals death, usually. So, that heat pack really did not do shit. We could still, like, it can literally just start blinking again and then it can go down easily. What the? You gotta tell me how that wasn't hitting him in the head? That was really awkward, but. <sighs> that was really weird, though. <laughs> that should have been hitting him in the head. Oh yeah, dude, the storm is definitely coming right now. I'm just gonna stay inside. Yeah, dude, here it comes, here it comes. It's definitely coming. Are you gonna come or not? My god. It's starting to scare me because I don't want to be inside that position whenever it comes. I have a toolbox, don't I? Nope, wow. And I was grabbing a wheel and shit, too. I'm guessing he probably died by a storm, which is probably gonna hit me, like, right now. Ooh, dude, I hate thinking about the storm. Uh, it just makes me want to kill myself in the game, thinking about the storm. I just heard that, now I want to get inside, because whenever you're inside, you get so much protection against the storm. I'd rather have a G17. I'm sorry, guys. That SA just sucks. I hate the sights on it. What's that? Crowbar, yeah. Crowbars you can actually use way efficiently whenever you're building because I think that they, they help tear down the stuff whenever you're building. So if you build, you can tear down. Alright, heat pack, I'm definitely taking that. Because we need that. I'm just going to drop this car wheel. These camping tents, I could take them and use them really good. But I don't have any room. I could drop the smoke grenades. I can definitely drop those. I don't really need those at all. 
If I do find a padlock, I am definitely taking that over anything. Except for my guns, of course. Hey, what's up guys? This is Focus here, and I would just want to give you a little quick note after that video. Uh, this video has taken a long time and a lot of hard work to make, so I would really enjoy it. If you guys would go to other people's channels and shout out my channel, please, you don't really have to do it, but it's just really just something to do for me if you love this channel and if you've been subscribed to it. And of course, I will post more Daisy episodes, of course, but uh, they, they take time. This episode literally took probably about four hours to make, even more than that, actually. Uh, it probably took about five to six hours just to make this one episode, guys. So, please, if you... Uh, if you like this channel or anything, go to other people's YouTube channels such as Frankie MPC, Rhino Crunch, uh, KYR Speedy, anybody. They don't even have to do video games. Just type in their chat, comment saying uh, go check out my channel or something because I, I, would, I could really use the attention, guys. So, Thank you for watching the video and remember to like, comment, or subscribe. Bye-bye.